We're back! Um, wait, this is A to Z. What is a friend? Hello, my history buff aficionados, and welcome back to Pax Britannica. Another what if crazy scenario. Uh, if you didn't catch the last episode of this, we played as Germany and had a whale of a time. And I said I wanted to go back and have a nicer look at a different country called France. Now, we also have Britain, which I'm sure I'll get round to at some point too. Oh la la! Who touched my Brittany? As you can see, France isn't feeling 100%. Uh, I wouldn't even go as far as 10% currently. You know, it's good when it says features conquer Europe. That's all I need to read. All right, I'm sure some little nerd out there is going to get upset, though, if they don't get the amazing lore, which uh, we kind of went through in the first uh, episode of this Pax Britannica, but here you go. Hope you're happy. Come to France. We have Big Red Line on the border with Germany. Me no like Big Red Line. Oh, that looks pretty good. End of time. Keep going down here. Child Soldiers. I like I like where this mod's going. Alright, so first time around, I think we used the light duo parts. Uh, by the way, if you just jumped into this mod, yeah, uh, technology's a little bit crazy. Yeah, uh, TLDR, it's a mod where uh, Britain... Uh, still has America, and technology is a bit schizo. Alright, first things first though, I will be needing these just for reasons. Alright, so as our job as the bad boys of Europe, it's time to destabilize Europe and bring it under our rule. Uh, but before we do that, we have a lot of buttons to be clicking. Alright, already we've got an event talking about a coup that might happen, which will lead us down one of these three paths, I imagine. So we, we have crazy ultranationalist, French Empire, and then socialist, and I'm not too sure what I want to pick. Uh, I don't really feel like going socialist, and I don't want to do French Empire, so I guess we're going straight down the middle. <laughs> Tojo? What's Tojo doing there? Well, there you go. We have been coup d'etat, and we've been replaced by Jaquez Dorito. And now we've got quite a lot of stuff to do. Like economy. Uh, I thought I'd make an appearance in the Italian Civil War, and as you can see, it's going swimmingly. Uh, I'm sure the UK won't mind me getting involved here, right? Sadly, it looks like both of my interventions have not gone too well. Alright, before we start taking over the world, though, I will be building up the industry. We need to do this correctly, as last time we got caught a little off guard. And yes, we'll be bringing out the tripods today. I like trains. Hey, well, we're gonna go down the hallucinogens path here in the uh, old <clears throat> weapons. <laughs> See if the Germans will be seeing demons soon enough. Excellent! We're less poor now! I won't lie, economy is starting to pop off now. I'm feeling pretty good. Now we can get back to more important things like intensify anti-Germanism. There we go, it's happened again. God bless the United States of China. There we go, our tripod army is now in production. All right, Germany, we're gonna have to talk about that funny red line around my country. Nice! And the other bonus is I get me an extra 200 political power, which I can have fun with. All right, now it's time to get rid of the fawn in my side that is Brittany. Uh, if it all goes to plan. I mean, all I have on this border <laughs> <laughs> it's my cute little fellas. Look at them. Don't you want to just pet them on their fluffy heads? Do not recommend petting the chicken tank. Ah, they said no. All right, time to see how these things work out then. Oh, they uh, <laughs> they work pretty well. <laughs> they they work very well. Can't go wrong with the chicken tank. Go, we've Shanghai'd Spain into our alliance, and we are growing. Probably not that strong with them here. Now we turn to Wallonia. Hopefully they say yes. If not, I'll send in the chickens. Oh, you silly little things. Anybody stop the onslaught of the chicken man? And the industry just gets larger. Currently we have the Spanish and a secret alliance with the Russians when time may come. Uh, but given the, uh... 
imperial powers that are on my border, not including the Germans, which I think will join the British if we declare on them, I'm still a little outgunned. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm at the point now where I could just roll over Germany pretty easily. The only thing I'm worried about is landing in the UK. Navy, not looking too fresh. Gonna have to, uh, respect here a little bit. Oh, well, well. Silly little Corsica. There we go. The Empire grows almost to a level it previously was. Still the guy in charge of Andorra. Look at him, with his silly little hat. Uh, I did get an event for uh, the Basque down here, but nothing appears to have come from it. I sent my demands and they just pretended they weren't home. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, probably do the first bit of spice we're about to unleash on the world. Now, the Germans are ready to defend the Dutch, but that does not scare me at all. There we go, the time has come off. Time to also deploy our hallucinogens on the Germans. And there comes the Russians to my aid. Not that, um... I needed it at all. There's still no sign from the British though. I'm not too sure if they're gonna get themselves involved or not. Oh, nope. Here they come. Here we go, we got the Dutch capitulated. Now we just need to run down the Germans before the Italians and the British get all up in my business. So we also need to keep an eye on our southern border down here as the Spanish are doing too well. That's a bit of a risky one, but the chickens are going in to try and encircle with the left of the Germans over here on the western front. And, uh... <laughs> It ain't a lot. Encirclement complete. This was good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and move this other army down to help in Spain. Because it ain't looking too damn pretty over here right now. There you go. Germany has surrendered. And I don't really think the Russians deserved any of this. Considering I took it all. But uh, sure, why not? Oh no. <laughs> there we go. The Americans turned up. Or the British United Commonwealth, we should say. And uh, I thought I'd confuse them a bit. And dump some hallucinogens on them. Land of the free? American eagles? Stars and stripes? I'm sorry, my friend, you've just done a boatload of French LSD. You're still firmly rooted under the British thumb. And we are counter-attacking in Spain right now, and as you can see, going pretty well. Yeah, not really gonna be bothering with this stuff up here, hoping the Russians and uh, my new puppet in Germany can do it themselves. Mostly just focusing on kicking them out of Italy now, which, uh, that's pretty nice. And then also we just gotta push them out of Iberia and then somehow get over the channel. Uh, I did steal a bit of the German Navy for a decision after capitulating them, so I'm just gonna add that to my fleet and we'll hope for the best. Alright, so Spain cleaned up, still working on it, Lena a lot left there, and now this army is gonna be my main invasion force of the British Isles. Alright, there you go, Italy gone, replaced with Italy 2. There we go, Operation Kaboom has begun. Now the AI is desperately trying to take down Denmark and not really succeeding. Uh, so I am slowly picking off bits of the British Navy. I've got like two battle cruisers and a, uh, a few destroyers so far, but we still need way... Actually, not a lot. <laughs> okay, this is working. Oh, there's the pride of the fleet. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know why the British Navy actually came out of port there, but uh, this is working quite well. Oh, okay, we're moving. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. I started just bombing them on the mainland too now, and I think that moved their uh, Navy, wherever it was down here, out of port long enough that I could get in. I have no idea what to expect in here, but hopefully nothing too crazy. There we go. We landed with our hard suits, which were essentially just... Uh, Fallout power armor divisions. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's much here to stop me in my step. Sorry, my British friends. Time to take a little snooze. There you go. I guess, uh, do I actually have to go help them up here now? I think we are completely pieced out. There you go. Europe under new ownership. Oh, and the uh, Americans have proclaimed themselves the heirs of the British Empire. Well, you guys have fun over there. Okay, so now that we've done that and we've got peace in the world, we can set up these collaborator things too, which uh, I guess I'll do. Why not? Oh, apparently there's still other wars going on in the world, like the, the Malayan Secession War, the Italian New Republic, Republican War and the Mexican Californian War. What's going on here? Oh god. Mexico, what are you doing? Uh, 
Sure are a lot of United States in this mod, but no United States. There you go, look, we finally cleaned up the border with Italy. Wowzers. Uh, just because it's taking uh, a while to get through all these events, I'm just uh, putting some political power in from uh, offshore bank deposits. Probably we also still have one for the uh, Scandinavians, and I think we actually... Do we need them all? We don't actually need them all. We just need to go down one of these to get Greater France, which I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. There we go. A few offshore political power donations later, and we can do the Conquest of Germania, which don't know what it does. We're about to find out. Also, <laughs> For Charles de Gaulle in charge of Cornwall. I don't know what you're gonna get up to over there, but I'm kind of worried. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> kind of ominous, isn't it? There he goes. The Welsh are free. To unknown horrors they shall unleash upon the world and with Jim Griffith. We should all be <laughs> very worried. Peaceful or not, continental Europe will enjoy a new master. One not confined to the British ways of thought. Revenge has never tasted better. Well, I guess that's it then. Uh, there's not much else I can see that we need to do. We could just declare war on the uh, the rest of the allies again, but I don't really see what that would do. I don't think that's really what the mod wants you to do. So uh, I guess we'll just leave it off, really. Although it does look like uh, my occupation of England is about to quite literally explode. <laughs> I gotta say, I definitely enjoyed France more than I did Germany. It's pretty damn good. I don't know if I'm actually gonna come back anytime soon to try out the UK. Uh, it would be pretty interesting to see what they've got also, but at the same time, uh, there's not a lot to do in the mod. <laughs> I feel like once you've done one or two, you've kind of done it all. Again though, I'll say exactly what I said last video on this, and that is it has a very interesting premise and uh, a lot of thought put into it, and it's got a it's got a way to come still, but definitely um, a lot of fun. So you guys should definitely check it out if you want. It is Pax Britannica. And I'm sure they are, like, without a doubt, going to add so much stuff to the mod. Uh, considering right now all you can really play as is the UK, France, and Germany. Uh, I, I mean, just... <laughs> I think Russia is coming next. I could be wrong, but I think that's what they said they're working on. Either way, I, uh, I'm very excited to see where this one goes. Because uh, it would definitely uh, be very nice to be able to <laughs> mop up some of the borders in the world. Uh, so if you could, uh, you get to work on fixing the mod up, adding a few more focuses, you know, I'd really appreciate that one. But uh, yes, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, you know the drill, and I shall catch you all never.